All righty, another one of my marketplace deals. Supposed to be coming to look at some suspension and stuff. And uh, this gentleman right here is nice enough to meet me out here. How you doing, sir? Doing all right, how about you? Doing fine. I appreciate you meeting me out here on this old rainy day. Yeah, you all right? Um, so let's see what we got in here. Okay. We've got a whole floor full of Mustang stuff, which is the same thing as the Falcon stuff. Here we've got the disc brakes, right? They're supposed to be fit the Mustang, Falcon, Comet, all that stuff right there, right? Right, that's what I was told. All right, and that's what he was told. So we're gonna take a shot in the dark. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've noticed that I'm still debating on whether to, to put the upper and lower control arms, leave the stock suspension in the Falcon, or take and put the uh, Mustang II suspension that I've got in there on it. And so this here might push me over to see what it is. So we got the calipers, brand new brake pads, rotors, the bearings, the backing plates, set of valve covers. Hey, now you know on the internet they say that them motors wasn't painted gold. That's what it was when I got it. They was though. When I bought them. Yeah, they yeah. was though. Yeah. I bought the car. They, they I had somebody good. eat me up and said, well, that motor's a rock. I got a 65 Ranchero. Yeah. And it's got a black block, gold valve covers, and gold uh, breather and stuff on it. And they was like, well, that ain't all original. I was like, okay. I just said, okay. But they are. Well, that's, <laughs> so, what my, that's what my thing was when I bought it. Is that right? I had gold. Yep. There you go. So, and black block. So we got all this stuff here, a bunch of Mustang stuff. I just happen to know a guy has got a Mustang. And so, but this is all stuff. Look here, got a set of headers. These look like later model headers because there's the, the uh, what do you call it on, I think. They fit a 289 or 302. Yeah, what kind does that say them are? I can't read that. I'll have to sand that off when I get them home. So, all right. Distributor, got several things, breather. So, we're gonna load all this stuff right here up, so that'll be one more step closer. Just a piece at a time, guys. You know what? When you're working on these old projects, don't get all excited and get in a hurry. You know what? And uh, if you do a little bit of research and, and everything else, and besides that, man, I've just really met some cool people. I've enjoyed talking with you today, I've sir. I've enjoyed talking to you today. And thank you so much and for helping you. me make my dream come true, bud. Well. I wish mine would come true. I hear you. I'd have kept my Mustang. But. I hear you. So, I appreciate that. Hey, and when I get done with this, I'm going to do the same thing that this gentleman and everybody else that's done is. Somebody's going to get a deal in everything else I've got left. Because that wouldn't be right for me to get all these deals and then turn around and try to gouge somebody and get full retail. I'm going to pass it on big time. Thanks again for watching us. If there's anything that I've learned in all the years of playing around with cars and stuff is, is when you see something advertised, call them then. And then after you call them, you ask them, when can you, when's the quickest you can come to go see it? And when you, you take off as quick as you can and you take the money with you because you can never tell. Because I guarantee you there's somebody out there that does those things and they'll beat you to it. All right, <clears throat> I just got home, so I'm going to see what all I actually really got now that I can take a look at it. So, got me a, a oil pan. That got greasy, and we don't get all red greasy. And I need an oil pan. I'm going to put aluminum oil pan on the motor that's going in the Falcon, but I actually need one to go in the Ranchero because it's got a dent in it. And I guess I'll figure out when I get these in there and uh, be able to tell it. But here's the disc brakes. Got the locks and stuff on it. Brand new set of pads on it. Um, both sets of those. Both rotors. There's the dust seal. Got the backing plates. Two back and plug. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Part of this, probably put some of this on this other extra stuff here on marketplace or whatever. But uh, some tips.
some other tips with some baffles in it. Holy smoke, you're not gonna believe this. I had a set kind of like this right here on my car. I totally forgot about that. We may have to see how these clean up right here. But I actually had a set like that on my car, believe it or not. These say Pilot Motorsports. I can't remember what was on my car. It has been a while. Um, got a Comp, a Mallory Comp 9000. Cool. Which I don't know anything about that stuff. Been a long time, been in around any of that stuff, but got the cool. That's a distributor uh, dummy. Got a, appears to be brand new dash pad. I'm guessing 65 or 6 or 7 or so Mustang. That thing right there. I have a buddy that's got a 66 Mustang that I sold him. So we'll see what that goes. Uh, junk. Let it go in the junk pile. Wow, got a big old uh, Elder Brock breather. Oh look, and I didn't even notice that when I got that. It's got one of these uh, uh, filters that you can just re-clean and put back on it. Man, that's like 50 bucks, I guess. 30 or 40 something. So I got that. got the said new brake pads and these are actually i don't exactly know and he didn't know either i need these lines so regardless out of work these are ford calipers and ford mounting hardware and stuff i just got to figure out how to get them on the if they'll fit on the spindles that i got or if they'll fit on the other ones but by both calipers and both mounts for the brakes, um, I got a set of headers. They seem to be good quality headers. They're heavy, thick metal, you know, thick headers. They've been banged up on there and stuff, oh. And they're, uh, I guess BBK it says. So I don't know, never heard of them. So, but a set of shorty headers. both of them nothing that's that'll be stuff to mock the engine up to seal it all up and everything set of stock gold valve covers Brand new set of door felt. Just one side, but that brand new set of door felt. What's it say it is? For a 64 and a half, 65 Mustang. So there's one side anyway. There's a small tube, you know, good and well, we ain't gonna use that thing. But the man said if I wanted, I had to take it off. So here we go. And I got one broke glass, gotta have the glass in it, but one, two, let's see, that one is the that's the right one. Here's the left one. The glass is out of the right and the left on this one. But the chrome and stuff looks good on it. And then here is a... Uh, that's a driver's side. It's got a good glass and everything in it. And then here, they, I have to do a little bit of a guesswork. I don't know if they're the same or not, but... Here's the front door handles. Somebody's painted them, but you know me, I'm gonna reuse them. They're Ford. I'd rather have the Ford ones as the reproduction ones. And these, so there's a window crank and two door handles. All of that. Pretty good score today. Now I just have to figure out what goes on and how you get this mounted on there. If we can use the other spindle, still hadn't decided if I'm gonna use the 
stop tight suspension that's on the Falcon, or if I'm going to put that uh, Mustang 2 deal underneath of it. Still kind of up in the air on that. I see a little bit of both, good and bad to both of them, so, so we'll see. Ideally, what I'd like to do is use the stock suspension, and the guy up the road up here in Maryville makes those crazy control, uh, adjustable upper and lower control arms that he hand makes that is absolutely sweet, but they're pretty pricey. Um, but we'll see. Still got a long ways to go before we need a suspension. Still got to have a floor in it and some seats. So I got to have some seats next. Again, thanks for watching. Here's a better look at the things that I got today when I was there just trying to get to brakes. That dash pad, never been put on a car, brand new. The um, air filter, the Elderbrock air filter with the cleanable filter in it, doesn't look like it's hardly ever been on a car if it has, hadn't been on there very long. These vent glasses, I have no idea what they're worth, but they were in the pile, so we're going to take them home. The valve covers, probably really no value in the valve covers, but they can cover a motor up. Um, now, the felts, probably could do something with the felt. The headers, I have no idea. Never seen a set like that. Been out of this a long time, but I can tell you that they were very heavy and really good quality. The distributor coming up, don't have a clue. Time to do a little research now and see what I got and put what I don't need up for sale.